Right, so we looked at multiplication, and division is a natural next place to go because multiplication and division are kind of two sides of the same coin. One does and the other one undoes. So when we think about division, a lot of what we thought about for multiplication will help. Okay? So just remember how we summarized before. When you're multiplying, so long as the bases are the same, A and A, you add the powers, right? So you should keep that in the back of your mind. Let's think about what this means. Now, just like before, rather than go straight to the answer, I want to try and expand this first so I can see why the answer is what it is. So, 7 to the power of 5. How we expand this? This is, yeah, Sir Andrew? Uh, uh, not yet. <laughs> we'll, we will all get to the answer. But before we get there, yeah, do you want to expand it for me? Uh, 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Nailed it. Okay, there's our 7 to the power of 5. Now, I could put brackets around it and then write a division sign, but I think that something might help you visually, it helps me, is if we actually write this division now as a big old fraction. Okay, you might like to use your ruler if you find it hard to make straight fraction lines like I do sometimes. That's on the top. 7 to the power of 5, and now I'm dividing by 7 squared. There's 7 times 7. Okay? Now, by this time, we've been dealing with fractions for quite some time. One of the things we're really good at is simplifying fractions, writing ones that are equivalent, by looking for things on the top and the bottom that we can cancel out, that match on the top and the bottom. Okay, so what do you see, Merrick? Um, two sevens. Um, you can cancel out two sevens. Excellent. Yeah, I can totally see there's two sevens here that match with these two sevens here. So these guys will cancel with these ones. So what I'll be left with after I get rid of all of those extra sevens? Yep, it's one, two, three. So it's seven, how would we say it? Cubed, very good. Now, just like before, did you notice if we have a look at the powers, there's another relationship from these powers on the left, right, to get to this over on the right. What do you see? Yeah, Haley, go ahead. Uh, you minus the powers to get three. Fantastic. If we minus the powers, 5 minus 2, we get 3, right? And which you should have sort of expected because you're like, oh, we're doing the opposite of multiplying. We're doing division. So therefore, instead of adding the powers, you should do the opposite of adding. You should do subtraction. Now, in that case, I wonder if you can help me go straight to the answer. We don't even need to write the big old fraction for this. How are we going to write, if we think about subtracting the powers, what are we going to get? Yeah, go ahead. Ah, very good. So there's the first little sneaky thing. There's a 1 that's hiding there. And then what? 4 minus 1, which you can all tell me is... Hooray, two cubed. So you do have to watch out for those sneaky little ones that are just kind of hanging out there invisibly. Four take away one, sure enough, gives you three. So now we can summarize, and it's going to look very similar to this one that we wrote up here, right? If you've got two numbers and they have the same base, right? So if you've got a to the power of m and a to the power of n again, so same base, different powers, but if instead you're dividing, how would you write this thing on the end, Louise? So, A on M minus N. A to the power of M minus N. M take away N, that's it. So, you know how we said before, when multiplying, you add the powers? How would you say it instead for this? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, when dividing, I'm going to say subtract the powers. Is that okay? I'm going to even put it here, label it like that. When dividing, we are going to subtract the powers. Dunskis, okay? So it's kind of a bit funny when you're like, oh, is that all I have to do? All I have to do is subtraction. But we've seen before, a lot of math sometimes is taking a hard, really weird looking problem and converting it into, oh, five take away two equals three. I could do that with my eyes closed and hands tied behind my back.